TGIF, welcome to Bullhorn. Howard, let's get down to it. Autodesk, one of the hotter performing software stocks, not something that we talk about that often, except for the fact that Carol Bartz, CEO of Yahoo, used to be at Autodesk. You think she's uh, regretting her decision to go to Yahoo? Last I checked, Yahoo not at a 52 week high. Double edged sword. People at Autodesk have uh, declared this Carol Bartz left us day. Uh, the stock feels like it has about 140 pounds lifted off of it and is at 52 week highs while Yahoo, uh, there's rumors of layoffs after just a miserable year. So, uh, bah humbug, Carol Bartz. Yeah, definitely. I mean, not to pick on Bartz unfairly because she walked into a, a situation that, you know, clearly Terry Semel and Jerry Yang couldn't clean up either and they were silly to avoid or ignore the Microsoft takeover offer. D do you think that there's any hope for Yahoo under Bartz or are we going to be talking about yet another Yahoo CEO next year? Uh, a lot of it is culture. Um, the She took the job. This isn't Russia. We'll talk about Russia later. Exactly. But she, ch she chose the job. She's taking big money. I have uh, no remorse for Carol Burns. <laughs> there we go. Computer Associates, or, or I'm sorry, don't call them Computer Associates anymore. CA, a, a company I'm fascinated with because I grew up on Long Island, so I have a natural inclination to not like this company, but that's an unfair bias maybe because, you know, their co-founder bought the Islanders and they stink. Anyway, CA, is this for real that this company has come back, or am I being unfair and kind of penalizing them in my mind for the sins of the 90s? Software is booming. Software as service is booming. Uh, all the laggards are being pulled. You know, IBM and Salesforce.com leading the charge. Even Microsoft ticking up. So Computer Associates is going to get a little positivity out of this. But again, there's no reason to dabble in the weekly sisters. You've got to stick with strength. That brings us to our next stock, uh, UPS. They've been I mean, really focusing on logistics, a boring word you know, that, that may scare a lot of people in their marketing campaign, but UPS at a 52-week high. What, what are people on the stream talking about with Big Brown? Well, there's a lot of talk. You know, UPS, logistics is a phenomenal business. UPS is a logistics company with a little people last mile version uh, built on top of it. The UPS guys are getting better looking. Women like to see good UPS looking people come to their door and they are uh, running it. Uh, they're, they're, they're doing well. And you know what? Brown is the new black. Brown is the new black. You got to love that. Pepsi making a, a big deal to expand in the Russian beverage uh, market, acquiring a majority stake in a, a company there. And, uh, you know, do you think that that's going to be a trend continuing corporate America going into Russia saying da to Moscow? You know, as America bumbles around, you can see the China-Russia accord for energy. And now you see Pepsi Russia, which is a big company saying we got to take stuff into our own hands, diversify our assets, diversify our cash inflows. And it's a great move for both people. It's for Russia, it's great. And for Pepsi, it's great. Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, thank you so much, Howard. I understand you are not going to be with us next week heading abroad. Paris, to Paris. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so you're not going to one of the pigs nations. That's good to hear.